Welcome back to Evangelism for God, the channel that speaks about issues the church run away from and expose Satan and his devices. My name is Maurice Braxton, and today is a very, very serious topic, so stay with me. You know, I've always, since I've been in the ministry, had a burden for lost souls, those that are drifting and going astray, and we've talked about the false teachings that is out there and everything and how many people are caught up in the web of deception at the current moment. But there's something in, that's also out there is a lot of prophetic words of so many good things and turnarounds and all of these things, which is great because we want that. But in this message here, I was thinking as I look at 1 John 5, 16, I'm not, I, I'm going to just keep it as simple as possible because it's one of the more misunderstood texts in the New Testament. But what it's talking about that do you know that as a believer and that you can literally in your life early, God can in your life early because you choose not to Listen to him because you choose to grieve the Holy, continuously grieve the Holy Spirit. You continuously to reject God's direction or anything that he's put in your life. He can call you home early, cut your life short, cut it off. That is some serious stuff. And a lot of Christians, and a lot of people don't realize that this, about this, I mean, think of it as a child, your child, you know, you, because the Bible says that he chastises, you know, those he loved, that he disciplines us. So when we're doing wrong, he would discipline us and the Holy Spirit will convict us and we will want to do right if we, and want to walk in a whole new direction. In most cases, that's what we want. But unfortunately, there's many out there that they've been convicted. They've been told to do certain things, but they're living such a life to where it is grieving the Holy Spirit. They're bringing so much shame upon themselves and upon the name of the Lord and the Lord may cut it short. That's what it's talking about. A sin unto death. Now, it doesn't mean you lose your salvation, you, that you lose your soul forever. It doesn't mean that it's the unpardonable sin. But what it does mean, your days on earth can be cut short. That's serious business. That is very serious. It is nothing to uh, play with. John goes on, and the first John goes on to talk about praying about for a person. But then it goes on to talk about praying for someone that is sinning unto death that basically your, your prayer, you're almost wasting your time. Basically, you're wasting your time with that particular prayer for that person that's sinning unto death. But we continuously pray for people that we see that are falling astray, you know, falling, uh, 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 you know, off the lines as we continue to march forward. But God says when his judgment is upon that person and no longer where the prayers work. He's going to call you home. That is serious. And it made me think of these people that are out here teaching false stuff, people that are following all of this stuff. There's some of them, I'm sure that they are Christians, but they're not listening to the Holy Spirit. They're not listening to what God is doing. They're doing their own thing. They're doing their own way. And guess what? You're playing with fire. You're playing with fire. Ask Ananias. And and, 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 uh, and it also made me think of, you know, it says, honor thy mother and thy father. So your days will be long and sweet on this earth. You know, you play around if you want. I, I would hope that the Lord allows me to live a nice long life. I know you would like to live a long life as well. But one thing I don't want to do is be cut my life short because I totally rejected the things of God and the spirit of God. Now, if you ain't saved, that's a whole nother thing, program, because God, the great thing about him is 
He's merciful. He, he's long-suffering. He's caring. He's loving. He don't want us to destroy ourselves. He don't want us to damn ourselves to hell for those of us that are not saved. But at the same time, you cannot, if you're not saved, you cannot go around and continue doing wrong and continuing doing things and thinking God's not watching you because he may call, uh, call it and that's it for you as well. And if you are not saved, you're going to be damned for hell. We don't want to be guilty standing before him that we have to answer of, well, Lord, you know, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm i sorry. I, why did you know? And, and what excuse can you give them? It's not going to be good enough. So let's get serious and pray for those because there's so many people right now that are in great danger. So many. And they're everywhere. And the enemy has got them exactly where he want them. But this channel, we're going to continue talking about it. We're going to continue to try to loose shackles. We're going to continue to put and put the prayers out there and help and pray that some people's lives are turned around. So if you're new and want to come along, feel free to subscribe, hit like. And until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.